Okay, hi everybody, um, I'm from uh, the UK. Uh, my name is Bill Bunga, I'm actually a Yeovil boy, so, uh, uh, so there you go, all the way here in, uh, in uh, Anaheim in California. And we're here to launch the ITAR. Uh, it's a four year development uh, and it's, uh, it's an amazing thing. So check this out. Here's your iPhone or your Android phone. You simply drop it onto the, uh, onto the power dock. This is a power dock with a 10, 10 hour charge. It powers everything up. Uh, but most importantly is it powers up this, which is the ITAR. Um, now, uh, if I go into the ITAR app, I have a window here. This is just what we call the XY pad. And I'm going to use it to, uh, to trigger the, the um, ITAR like this. Note. Turn it up a bit. I can use the XY pad just to play with it. Now the whole point about the ITAR is that it allows you to bring your um, all the all the music apps that you have in your phone to life. So all those crummy little apps that you can't access. Finally, you can put them into the ITAR, select your sound, and play away. You can just play like a guitar, so you can form poly polyphonic. So you can form crazy, you can play like a guitar, or you can change the configuration so you can play it like a keyboard, so I can play it one hand. One hand, and I can just play and still access with the XY pad. But the really cool thing is because it has LEDs, it means that we can use the LEDs to kind of uh, help us learn, help us uh, 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 conduct our way around the guitar. So learning is a no-brainer because we can now throw tablature onto the neck. We don't have time to show you. Uh, but if you want to play like your fairy guitarist, we can provide the tabs you can follow and you can learn. Uh, but most importantly, it's a pro tool. So you can take this into the studio uh, and you can use this as a MIDI trigger uh, with Ableton. So now you can throw half of your uh, half of the neck of the ITAR can become uh, an Ableton uh, uh, MIDI trigger. So you can set up your samples, which basically means the DJs for the first time, and uh, this is why it's so cool to be interviewed now, I promise you the DJs will now step out from behind their decks for the first time and they'll have their samples ready to go and they'll perform like guitarists, like pop stars on the stage. About bloody time too. Now you're going to be able to trigger your samples and you'll be able to jam along of course, uh, and, uh, and on it goes. There's lots of amazing things that we could do with the ITAR. So you said this has been four years in development, yeah? Four years in development by two amazing guys. To your left here, you've got, to your right, you've got Harvey Starr of Star Labs. He's an absolute genius uh, designer. And you've got Derek here, who is, uh, Derek Ward, who's um, an amazing software designer. And yeah, it's been a, a four year journey. I'm the glue, I'm the one in the middle that tells everyone what to do and they get, they, they, they get all upset when I speak. But so far we managed to get to an absolutely amazing product that will be going, uh, will be manufactured this year and will be available uh, on Amazon uh, probably from June, maybe a bit later than that. It'll be ready by Christmas for sure. Uh, and uh, I'm telling you now that there isn't a kid that's got an iPhone or an Android that isn't going to want one of these things. You can rock out with this thing. It's a shame you can't really hear it properly uh, today, but it, you can absolutely rock out with this. And it's, it's a joy. It's an absolute joy. It's great fun as well. It's just great fun. So how much is this bottle of joy going to cost us? Well, $7.99. Uh, so by the time it gets to the UK, what with Brexit, about £3,000. <laughs> I'm joking about that. But not much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I don't know, what else can I tell you? Um, uh, what else? There's tell us where to find more information. What's the website? So, itarguitar.com. Uh, if you want to uh, sign up there, we'll keep you in the loop. Uh, we may even consider doing a Kickstarter, but uh, there's a huge amount of interest in this. I think it's by far the coolest device at NAM 2018. And it's about time you come along because the world needs to know. This, what we're doing here is proper cool. It's the future and everyone is going to have one of these things. It's, and by the way, look at the, look at the finish on this baby. Look at that, this is a maple neck. These are aluminium parts, this one is coated. We've got a black one and, a, and, a, and a, an aluminium one there. That is just super sexy. You can use your iPad, uh, you know, however you want to play it. The, this is, this is the, 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 the bees. So what's the technology behind this? Uh, well, the tech, you better speak to the boys about that. It's a bit more, it's not really my league. 
Uh, but yeah, it's, um, you know, what can I say? It's basically a, a, a touch. In fact, we can't tell you too much about it because it's a trade secret, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't get uh, that but, way. But, um, but all you need to know is that it's a really... Certainly it's all proprietary. Proprietary. Oh, okay. And it's all patented like you wouldn't believe, so uh, so no one can nick it. But, um, uh, but it's uh, an absolute joy to play. Really light to the touch. Um, and uh, as I say, you can play it like a keyboard, you can trigger it, all sorts of cool things. Let me t I'll show you another app actually while we're here. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna take um, someone else's um, app uh, and this should work, let's see. Get a good drum beat going to that. <laughs> Rock and roll! <laughs> Hi, I'm Harvey, Harvey Starr. I'm the lead designer on the project. And I just wanted to add in that the uh, ITAR was designed from the bottom up to be a heavy duty professional instrument. It's rugged, it should take a beating, and something you'd be proud to own for the lifetime of your, your musical career. Um, we set it up so you can also play into any. DAW or professional music software, whether it's Contact or uh, Ableton Live, Pro Tools, Cubase, anything. It has a very touch sensitive finger fingerboard and plenty of setups to dial in the sounds the way you, you like them. So how do you customize it? Is it all through the app? Well, you can set it up in the app, but actually it can connect to your your uh, computer, your DAW, using USB or Bluetooth, and then you can proceed to set it up as you like using your own tools and just using the controller for the MIDI data. We'll be also be coming out with a string trigger accessory that'll let you play it more naturally like a guitar, not so much as it's oriented as an electronic musical instrument now, in addition to playing the fingerboard, of course, which. Uh, I might add is you can play it polyphonically, which means more than one note per string, which means that if you're musically inclined, you can play cluster voicings on the fingerboard the way a piano player would play. You're not constrained to open voicings like a guitar player normally uses. So it's just one more, one more trick, you know, you can put into your toolbox the things to create musical uh, wonderfulness. So I saw on the iPad behind, it's got kind of virtual strings there. Is that the thing you were talking about? Um, well, no, not actually. That's a surface that will allow you to emulate string triggers on a guitar, and you strum on those, and you can fire the fingerboard from those, which is nice. But what I was talking about was real strings that will be coming out. All right. It's a plug-in accessory. And that you, so that you can finger it and use all of your right hand techniques like a guitarist uses. So if you're a classical player or a flamenco player or anyone who uses a pick or finger style, you know, it, it's, uh, it adds one more aspect to your performance. It's more, it would be more comfortable for guitarists. But that said, for learning new techniques or for electronic music and such, there's a lot to explore on the surface of the iPad as well.